Hello there, Cancerian. Welcome in to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Hey. Mm, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying your beautiful days out in nature, giving thanks for all that you are, all that you've been. I feel like you're looking for some guidance. I feel like you're like, the energy you have is, help me. As if you are stuck at a crossroad, you're not sure what to do. I feel like you know what it is you want to do, but you're here unable to make this decision or to take this bold step forward. Some of you want to move, but you're indecisive. I feel like this is because you're not trusting in your intuition. All right. So maybe for some of you, something needs to end and you are... So, like, I feel the energy of frustration, not just not being able to make a decision because maybe you feel like you don't have enough information. So that's what you're trying to find here. All right. So welcome in, Cancer. And remember that these are general tarot card messages. All right. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies on the rest. Let it fly. Remember too, Cancerian, that you are a very, very important part of my reading. So you have to be here with me. So breathe with me. And let's get the most accurate messages out for you. I feel like I'm dealing with an individual who is or a group of people who are at a crossroads here with the Five of Swords energy. Just knowing, I feel like you already know you have to do something, but you're just not sure. It's as if, um, for example, someone that grew up with their family, Maybe like you're still living in your family house. Maybe you want to move out, but you're frustrated. I feel like you are getting um, the opinions of your mother versus your father energy. And you're not sure, like you're caught in between the two. You're not sure if you should just stick with your own decisions or listen to what others are saying in order to move forward. So I feel like you're just looking for more clarity, more insight and more confirmations for you to go with your gut. So let's see. Give me some messages, angels, spirits, guys. Thank you so much for coming through, my beautiful, beloved ancestors. Give me some messages for this Cancerian here. No. But this person is feeling caught up, challenged, or challenged by maybe by. This could be at work for some people. The energy feels like a supervisor, challenged by a supervisor. So it feels like maybe you want to, like maybe or for, some, for some people you want to leave a job behind and you're not sure how to do it. Because it's just that energy of being frustrated where you, like, you want to quit or you want to move with your gut instincts. I feel like this person is consistently watching you. This is Libra. You have so much air sign here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be affiliated with this person. I feel like this person could be coming into your life if they're not here yet. This person is watch, feeling you out. Like this person is literally or this energy is making its way into you now as i speak that's how i feel what is the queen of swords what is the queen of swords hmm. could be business a business opportunity someone making a step toward you in business this this the queen of swords feels like your energy too but it it feels more like you are in the position of the supervisor watching over something but you have to be very firm and strong and grounded, rooted in who you are. And this could be at work. Maybe you have a very powerful position at work and you're afraid of letting it go. You're not sure how to leave people behind. You're afraid of possibly disappointing some connections. But I feel like you will feel more confident, safe and secure if you put other things in place before you move on. So for some of you, if you're looking for a new... If you're looking to leave your job, find a new job first or find some sense of security within yourself before leaving. And that will help to make you feel like you're actually moving towards something instead of away from something. That helps you to move forward. Moving forward is moving toward. And when you're not clear about what you're moving toward, it's as if you're not really sold. That's why you're in and out, in and out with this decision. 
You need to be confident in your decisions. And know that you have support. You have um, support and guidance and a team watching over every decision that you make. For some of you, if you're considering leaving a relationship and you're not sure, you're not sure if you're picking up on the red flags correctly or it's, if it's just you, this is saying, I feel like you're, you already are prepared to make this step forward. And this is saying uh, maybe start building something, start putting, uh, maybe finding another place to live first or securing your home before moving. And that will, that will help you to move forward, you know, because you know what you're moving to. So that's why you're, so, you're supposed to have a vision forward because that will keep you stuck. If you don't have a vision, you'll just keep thinking, oh, I'm leaving this, I'm leaving this, I'm leaving this. It's so hard to leave this behind, whatever that this is. But when you have a vision, you know what you're moving toward. This is going to be better for me. I'm going to be more comfortable here. I'm going to feel like I'm expressing myself here. So visualize and embody what you're moving toward more than what you're leaving behind. And the, the, the energy of what you're moving toward is more stronger than what you're leaving behind. And I feel like once you just take that step forward, you will have the push you need to, to, um, to pick up momentum and you'll have support from the universe. I'm getting with the eight of wands energy. All of your ancestors are ready to help you to put things in your way to make whatever alignments you need so that you can be on this journey. You just need, you are the one that needs to make this decision. You're the one that is standing in your own way, Cancerian. So to have this brand new beginning, you have to really look the strength, the emperor, the sun. To have this new beginning, Cancer, don't stand in your own way. See, don't tell yourself you're trapped when you're not because you're afraid. Are you afraid of moving forward? You're afraid. You're afraid of the future. You're afraid because you're not visualizing the future being well and wonderful. Now we have the eight of swords on the bottom of the deck once more. This is telling me if you feel blinded, if you feel like you don't know where you're going to put your foot next, you just feel out of place. You're like frustrated at the energy I'm getting from you. Know that your whatever intuition you're getting to move forward is your ancestors. They're here. Your angels, your spirits, and your guides. They are here with you to tell you to move into this newness. You want a new beginning. You want new experiences. You want to feel like you are in control of your life. Okay, but I feel you may be stuck in comfort zone here. Or you may have gotten used to a certain way of living. And so it's hard for you to leave that behind when all of you is saying, step forward, step forward. It's like you're on a path walking and you've gotten so familiar with the sights behind you that you don't want to leave because you're about to enter into somewhere dark, which means unknown. And so you're wondering, should I stay on this familiar path or should I venture into the darkness of the unknown? And so that's what's keeping you. That's what's making you hesitate from taking this step forward. Now I'm telling you, this is what comes. The sun energy. When you are in your strength, you move in strength. This is faith, courage, bravery, knowing that you have guidance and protection. You walk proud, proudly in courage, knowing that your internal world is what literally governs your external environment. So it is all within you. Every step you take is within you. You make the decision for it in yourself and take the steps and it literally aligns for you. The emperor is telling me that this is when you're sitting on the top of your throne. You're literally bossing up in your own life. You have the pen in your hand writing your own story as you go with the emperor energy. And this is where you go into the sun. The sun is success. Abundance, new beginnings, new opportunities, new life, new experiences. The sun could be starting a new family, could be traveling here. So many new experiences are awaiting you, but you're hesitating. So if that helps you, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Can share and much love to you until next time. Remember, you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. If these messages resonate with you, Cancer, go ahead and compliment my video by leaving a thumbs up, um, sharing the videos with those you love, and hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I post up new content for you. 
as always your love and support is greatly appreciated and i'll see you next time take care bye i feel like that reading was for a specific individual that was going through that feeling of being stuck or just wanting some support in making a decision so that message was for you and you are much welcome all right see you take care bye Okay, Cancer, just now the Page of Cups flew out. We have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. And here, and then the bottom of this deck, we have the lover's energy. So I feel like even on your journey, you will find love, soulmate, energy, twin flame. You will just come into so many different alignments when you begin to follow your own heart ahead. All right, so take the steps forward. And you're aligning with so many beautiful things ahead of you. Take care.